Hello everybody, my name is Virginia Bagnoni, working with the Group of Agroecology at Sant'Anna School of Advanced Studies University. I'm the hub coach in Italy for olive growing. The hub is located in Tuscany, in the province of Pisa, in an area called the Monte Pisano, a small relief of high hills between the cities of Pisa and Lucca. Our work in contest is a terraced land realized with stone walls to mitigate the slope. Olive groves are surrounded by pine and oak forest and Mediterranean bush. Farm size in the hub ranges from less than one hectare to 16 hectares. Within this, these surfaces, the olive grove is the main crop for all of the 13 farms. Each olive grove is traditionally made up of different varieties. There is Moraiolo, Lecino, Frantoio, and also some indigenous varieties, for example, Lazzo. The olive groves have a high density ranging from 350 to 900 plants a hectare, and they also have a great height of the plants from 250 to 500 centimeters. The area is characterized by an early harvest, generally starting the first days of October, and the olives are quickly brought to social and private meals for both organic and conventional production. In this contest, the most important issues faced by the farmers are concerned with the difficult access to the field with machines for treatments and harvest. And it's the reason why we have a lot of farms managed with a, an organic approach and minimal intervention. And the general trend is to reduce the input of pesticides, especially today that dimethoate has been banned. The personal objectives of our farmers and the focus of the shared work are the olive fry control together with the reduction of the impact of management on management on the environment and the maintenance of a high quality standard of production. The ideas of the working program resulting from the hub interaction are mainly aimed at prevention and monitoring actions based on push and pull strategies. We hope to come through next year's with demonstrations of innovative strategies combining repulsion and camouflage techniques the use of protein baits and attract and kill traps, and the management of the landscape context to make our strategies even more efficient. These are our goals in order to have a good control of olive fly, always guided by existing or new monitoring decision support systems. We are also happy to collaborate with already running projects in the area, and we are sure we can develop interesting positive interaction with our colleagues already involved in managing olive pests and Monte Pisano agroecosystems. If you are curious about our activities, do not hesitate to contact us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram at Go Agroecology.